has been helping the team since it started putting together a submission from an MLS bid. The general manager says there will be at any given time almost 400 people working on the project. Regardless of the location, the CEO of the African American Chamber partnered with other minority groups to get ahead of this process. SC Cincinnati President Jeff Birding says they are exploring the idea of a community benefits agreement with the new stadium. The first source hiring program would give people who live in the stadium's neighborhood first dibs on jobs. And that would apply uh, not only to people working in the stadium on game days like ushers and ticket takers uh, and, and on the grounds crew and whatnot, but actually for jobs working for FC. You want to hire an accountant for FC Cincinnati, we first go to first source. That is the commitment that we're making. You got a lot of people out here that need a second chance. They need jobs, um, whether it's cleaning the stadium and power washing it and helping to construct the stadium. Now, Oakley, the West End, and Newport are still the three locations for this new stadium. A few people, maybe one or two people, came here to the theater to express their concerns on that topic. Of course, we are still waiting to hear if FC Cincinnati will join Major League Soccer. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side. Ashley.